Welcome to another Jerry Crazy News headlines on a special Sunday evening to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, before I get into today's news, I saw this article earlier in the morning which state that there's a downward trend in childbearing and they're saying that it can cause breast cancer. You see, this is a scare tactics of fear management to pressure women to have children. So, Dr. Copeland, what about the women who already are mothers, yet they are still having breast cancer? Now, let me say this to the women, especially in the black community, women in Jamaica. The best thing they should be teaching you is to give you pointers on how to spot men who are potentially great fathers, men who are providers, men who will make great fathers for your children in the future. Because all I've seen in the black community are single parenting, single mothers. Most children are born in homes where you have single parent and there is no father in the household. That is why we are a very negative society, society that is being decayed with children who are rotten, children who are in discipline and those children end up being criminals and being a trouble to Jamaica's society. So, Dr. Copeland, stop encouraging women to have children and end up being single mothers. As I said before, these so-called doctors should encourage women to find the right partner. How to spot men who are potentially great fathers, men who have morals, men who have standards. And no Lego beast waste man. Do you know that the vast majority of black men in the black community in the Western world they are single and childless? And these men they are successful and they are not being picked by the vast majority of black women. But instead, the black women, the vast majority, are going after the men in the minority who are not good for them. And these women are picking these men all because they can grind good. But these men, they are not potentially great fathers. They are waste men. They are deadbeats. Oh, Dr. Copeland, you can't just encourage women to have children and not telling them to find men who are responsible, men who are moral standards, men who are mature, men who are potentially great fathers to have children with. You know what's far more dangerous than cancer, Dr. Copeland? Is having a child being born in a single parent home where there is no father. The mother is struggling, the mother is paranoid, she's stressed, she's depressed, and she's filled with anger issues and that child grow up becoming a menace to society Dr. Copeland and that child is the same one who will hold a gun on you and rob you or kill you so instead of encouraging women to have children encourage them to choose better males better men who will make great potential fathers Now we head towards the parish of St. Catherine, Old Arbor, to be exact, along Burke Road, where another man was shot and killed. Now based on news report, the deceased 30-year-old male Harrison of Lennon Field in Old Arbor, St. Catherine, was at a party along Burke Road. That's Burke Road. Taxi stand 
in Old Harbor, St. Catherine, where Harrison was attacked and shot by unknown assailants. The police in Old Harbor was summoned to the scene. On arrival, they found Harrison with gunshot wounds. Now Harrison was rushed to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was pronounced dead by doctors. So far, there is no motive as to what led to this attack and the murder of 30-year-old Romaine Harrison of Lennon Field in Old Harbor, St. Catherine. Now you know, Burke Road is one of those places that is a crime hotspot in Old Harbor, St. Catherine. Now about two to three weeks ago, a man was killed in the Burke Road community. I tell you all the while, and I'm going to say it again, if you realize and also analyze the areas that was once quiet in Jamaica are now crime hotspots. And the areas that are hotspots, they don't have frequent murders. Now, Old Harbor had its fair shares of murders in the past years, but it wasn't as violent as now. People would always say, a spear town violent man, Old Harbor good. You know, people could go to the popular Ascot Wednesdays, up the road from Old Harbor Police Station. And people would be safe to go to the parties wherever and come back home safely. But we also know that Old Harbor have its bad areas that are filled with gangs. But now things are not what it was many years ago. It's a change. The generation now, they are a generation of vipers. Every little dispute draws for a gun. Now we head towards the parish of Manchester, where in the last 48 hours to be exact, eight persons were shot, three fatal. The latest person to be killed in the parish of Manchester occurred last night in Poros, Manchester. Now dead is 29-year-old Christopher Manning, a.k.a. Bulby, of Clarkstone in the parish, who you see on your screen right now. Around 9 p.m. last night, Manning was at a meat shop in Poros, Manchester, where he was pounced upon by criminal elements. Those criminal elements fired several shots towards his direction, hitting Manning. Christopher Manning, aka Bulby, received multiple gunshot wounds. The criminal elements escaped successfully. The police were summoned to the scene and arrived. They found Christopher Manning, aka Bulby, lying face down in a pool of blood. So far, there is no motive what led to this attack and murder. Investigations are ongoing. Now let me give you a short history. In the late 90s to the early 2000s, the parish of Westmoreland had murders, but it wasn't as frequent like now. You might have one or two murders here and there, but Westmoreland was among the parishes that had the least murders. Now back then, Hanover and Montego Bay, St. James Oral, picked up the lottery scamming. At that time, it wasn't called scamming or chopping. It was first named Sweep Sticks. Yes, sweep sticks. During that time, the murders in Montego Bay picked up. I had few murders in Hanover, but not as much as Montego Bay. Oh, what turned Westmoreland upside down 
was the year 2006 and beyond, with the scamming picked up in parish of Westmoreland. I had dudes from Montego Bay coming into Westmoreland to live and introduce sweepstakes. And the youths from Westmoreland and areas like Orange Beer in Hanover would join with those men from Montego Bay. That is how the scamming started to pick up in the parish of Westmoreland and some other areas in Hanover. And that led to a lot of murders. You see, murders start pick up. Gradually, as more youths get introduced to scamming, you saw the murders rising in Westmoreland. I know it's out of control. What you are seeing in the parish of Manchester, the reason why I brought up Westmoreland, again, what you see happening in the parish of Manchester, it is quite similar to what happened to Westmoreland. With the scamming picked up and the murders increased. This is what you are seeing happening before your very eyes. As the youths in Manchester make chopping and scamming popular, you're going to see more murders like never before. And it can get very grimy and it can reach to a point where it's far more worse than Westmoreland. Oh, Manchester is a new hub for scamming, the capital for scamming in Jamaica. What you see going on is youth from Montego and Westmoreland coming into the parish, the space to live and get entwined with the youths who are from Manchester and disputes start to happen. Yes, scamming is still going Montego and Westmoreland and Hanover, but Manchester is now the popular parish for scamming. This is now popularized in the parish of Manchester and the youths from different parishes are now come into the parish to do scam because scamming is now being viewed as a successful venture in the parish. Right now the youths in the parish of Manchester are making more money from scamming than the youths in St. James and Westmoreland and Hanover, St. Catherine, you name it. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if the police, the authorities, the government, opposition, ministers, MPs, you name it, in the parish of Manchester, don't put a lock on this, I can tell you, there are going to be far more murders in Manchester than what's going on in the parish of Westmoreland. Now it was the parish of St. James where Lilliput has seen yet a murder. Now yesterday morning a murder occurred. Now last night a next murder unfolded. This time in the wagon wheel era of Lilliput St. James. The deceased have been ID'd as Janai. Now Janai was shot and killed by a lone gunman. Now you have seen where Little Put St. James war start for different reasons. Gang related, scamming feud, friends turn enemy, and you have family war as well. Now these youths take pleasure in killing each other as they boldly and gladly display that they were the one who took a life on social media. As the killers mock the dead. Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend. I'm here to represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy my play with him and review the thing then. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy my play with him and review the thing then.
We do the thing them, we do the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy